Thank you, Marilla. I'm, this is the second week in a row that you've read something that was a prompt for the thing that I was about to read. And um, this, the, the idea of privilege of, of the, you know, um, that is the, the, the third horror that I present to you tonight, that of my own privilege. Um, and this is called the border interrogation. The agent takes our passports and asks the standard questions to which I pleasantly reply the appropriate responses. I have the luxury of knowing that everything will be fine, and I will drop my boys off at grandma's and return home. But for every question I am asked, there's a moment of mounting real fear that a part of me is there on the passport page, whispering on his little screen the terrible things I did that I had conveniently forgotten, because I could. He lets me go, and I drive the boys to Ontario with the bodies of those I tormented in the Toyota Camry's leaky trunk, weighing down the back tires by a subtle, subtle, barely noticeable inch. Thank you. <laughs> That's a true story. I mean, not the body part, but that was...